Hi there, I'm John at the Gun Shop. I was accused the other day of being a gun snob, so I thought we'd do you a video on how that I am not a gun snob whatsoever. But there is a reason that more expensive guns are better. So, what we have done is we've got this, we've taken this out of the scrap pile. This is a Bakel non ejector, double trigger, nice little auto safety on the back there. Altogether, one of the least delightful guns in the world. And we've put it up against this. This is a Renato Gamba GB Daytona. Absolutely fantastic, very much hand built, designed to shoot perfectly. So, what we did is we took them to a clay ground and we shot them. And here's the results. Oh! So we shot them. Yes, they all broke clays. So, a shotgun as they go is a fairly crude device, okay? It's two steel tubes that close up and have a trigger, a chamber, and something to hold onto, the stock. The concept is immensely simple. And as such, most simple targets and most simple birds can be killed with simple guns. However, neither of those guns fit me particularly well, so I didn't really enjoy shooting either of them that much. However, this broke. It has subsequently been put back together for the time being. The other one didn't break and was an enjoyment to shoot. This was not an enjoyable shoot. It kicked. Yes, it worked, but I didn't actually enjoy shooting. The other one was much easier to shoot. The trigger pulls were better. It recoiled less. The actual shooting experience was better and easier, especially when it came to shooting some slightly harder targets. However, this also broke them. This is because I am about an average with a shotgun, so I can break clays, and that is as simple as that. The person behind the gun matters. I didn't enjoy shooting either of them because neither of them fit. If I had my gun with me, that wouldn't have been a particularly fair test because it fits me, unlike these two, then I would have hit them just as easily, but I wouldn't have had to work so hard. And I must admit, both of them were, this was hard work to shoot. The other one was a pleasure to shoot, but was hard work to actually get a consistent mount with it. All right, that's enough babble. 45 quid gun versus four and a half grand gun. I'm always gonna go with the four and a half grand gun. It feels better, it looks better, it's put better together. However, I'm not a snob. I like this gun to the point that I'm gonna fix it and I'm gonna buy it because for what it actually is at the scrap bin for a couple of little bits of work, it'll be working perfectly well. And then when people ask me what I shoot, I can say a bagel. Broken gun is a safe gun.